Take a new immigrant to the West who's straight off the boat from, say, Saudi Arabia or Iran. And then start, without any warning to this immigrant, start questioning him on the fundamentals of Islam. <laughs> like, say, oh, I don't accept the validity of the Quran, or I don't uh, believe in God, or I don't um, believe that... Um, there is no God but God, and Muhammad is his prophet. And I think it's all garbage until you, you, till you prove otherwise. That little thought experiment, experiment, if you ask me, is extremely telling. And it accounts for a lot of the problems that we're having in the modern world, vis-a-vis -vis the supposed class of, clash of civilizations between the Islamic world and the West. The big problem, if you ask me, is the fact that we have 1.5 billion people, the world's Muslims, who almost exclusively have grown to maturity in societies where it is impossible to question the basics. You cannot do it. So, uh, due to blasphemy laws and simple social, social pressure, you can't question that. It's just, it's, that's too basic. You can't do it. And if you do do it, we will stop you. <laughs> It's immediately suppressed. So the immigrant comes here, and he's just not inoculated against this. <laughs> he's suddenly extremely vulnerable. He's gone from his virtually sterile environment to a highly infected environment, or at least infectious environment, loaded down with the germs of free thought. He has no idea what to do when people start rapid firing him with things like you can't force your wife into a hijab anymore and if she wants to resist you too bad the laws here will back her <laughs> um he's more likely to just get extremely frustrated um with all of this and i'm sure this is a scenario that plays itself out very frequently among islamic immigrants to the west uh, it accounts for a lot of the family pressure that a lot of Muslim families have when they move to the West, and it accounts for, I suppose, some of that radicalism that we see developing among second-generation Muslims in places like Canada or Australia or elsewhere. People go a little bit crazy when you attack or question even the basic building blocks of their epistemology. They're not prepared for it. They have no answer. Well, I've unfortunately noticed the same tendency among atheists. What I'm essentially doing in this uh, mini-series that has developed because logic rolls the, night, the dice knows his man when he sort of throws a challenge to somebody. Some, some of us simply can't resist. Me. Um... <clears throat> I um, am challenging basic axioms. I'm challenging the assumption that Western logic is somehow immune to criticism. And I'm not challenging it in a solipsistic sense. I'm challenging it with a competitive version of logic. A competitive version of logic that relies, or I shouldn't say relies, but that has a very strong nod towards how uncertain we actually are. <laughs> Not how uncertain we program our tools to assume we are, i.e. we just assume non-contradiction, non identity, uh, not excluded middle, uh, all that kind of thing. We just assume that. And anyone who sort of says, well, we're not going to accept those, is kind of denounced as a solipsist, kafir in other words, infidel, whatever. Um, or a troll, or just an attention seeker, or something like this. And it, there's a certain degree of honesty in that, if you ask me. I think that that's what people actually see when they see what I'm doing here. They see just a troublemaker, just a, a, a troll, just somebody who's trying to argue the universe out of existence, and is probably doing it for nefarious reasons. And I don't know, I can't prove anything, but what he's doing is damaging. Um, well, maybe, but unfortunately, as I say, I've got a backing 
for this. I've got a non-Western school of logic that actually allows for uncertainty, that allows for multiplicity of viewpoint, that allows for the challenging of every conceivable axiom. Um, the end result ends up being almost the same thing, if you ask me, as Western logic. But with the hard edge of intolerance slightly filed down, you can be just as intolerant with this system of logic that I'm pointing to, and it's by no means anything that I'm original in presenting. Um, and you can actually say, no, I'm not saying that we throw mathematics down the sink or anything like that, or time, space, matter, energy, E equals MC squared, any of that stuff. No. I'm just saying that let's not mistake an, uh, a, um, an assumption or a maybe for a definitely. Otherwise, you end up in the situation where, as you saw in the two videos that I've so far critiqued that Logic Rolls the Dice has provided me with, you see somebody who prides himself on his rationality shouting somebody down because they're challenging him in a place where he cannot be challenged. <laughs> when pushed, we all become intolerant. Let's not kid ourselves.